Hello everyone, this is Carrie Inkwell Collectibles in Painesville, Ohio. If you guys are ever in the area, please stop by and check us out. Anyways, tonight we are opening the Lost Caverns of Ixalan Collector Booster Box. And so we have the front, the back, and each booster contains a Jurassic World card, which I am excited about, so we're going to get started. Obviously, the hope is to get either a neon foil card, we're starting with our box topper, or especially in the Mana Crypt, or one of the Jurassic Park imprinted cards. That would be fantastic. I'm not expecting that. I would be thrilled if I did, but either way, I'm just excited to get a whole lot of Jurassic Park cards. So we're starting with Mimic That in foil rare artifact so good start it's gonna go over there and we're going to pull one out of the middle all right and so these are nice these start with the commons uncommons in the front and then they go to your mythics and rares in the back which I appreciate that way it doesn't feel like it ruins the fun of opening it. So we're starting with Panicked Altasaur, Dead Weight, Caslam Stone Tree, Hidden Necropolis, Might of the Ancestors, Curator of Sun's Creation, Nick and Zil, Current Conductor, and then our Full Art Swamp in Foil. Uh, again, a lot of people I know didn't particularly care for those. I do like these, especially now having seen some of them. I do appreciate the art of those. It is very eye-catching. And then we have Full Art Belligerent Yearling in Foil Uncommon. Going to the Rare Stalactite Stalker. Soul of the Lost in Full Art. Wrathful Raptors. Hulking Raptor. We have our Jurassic Park card is a Mountain which this one is double-sided. I like this side better of the two, so I do like that. And then Ackle Puckle, First Among Equals in the Alternate Art, Foil, Rare, Human Advisor. And then we have a Map and Dinosaur for our tokens. Next one, we're starting with the front. Feels like a nice thick pack. Maybe we'll get something good, we'll see. Starting with Mineshaft Spider, Sunfire Torch, Join the Dead, Barazka Puzzle Door, Earthshaker Dreadmaw, Contested Ball Game, Self Reflection, Our Island in the Full Art, and then we have Breaches Brazen Plunderer for the Full Art Foil Goblin Pirate, Special Guest. So that's a fun one. It has Menace. Whenever one or more pirates you control deal damage to your opponents, exile the top card of each of those libraries. You may play those cards this turn and may spend mana though or mana of any color to cast those spells and it has partner. So I'm going to put the special guest cards off to the side. And then we have Intrepid Paleontologist. Treasure Map. That one is double-sided. Treasure Cove on the other. Paleontologist Pickaxe, another mythic double-sided dinosaur headdress on the other. And then we have Gisheth, Sons of Avatars for our second mythic. And here we go, Ian Malcolm, Chaotician for our Jurassic Park card. We're going to put those with the partners. And Corpses of the Lost, Full Art, Foil Enchantment, and then Map Golem. Next pack. It would be nice to get a blue for our Jurassic World card. I do know someone who's really looking for that one, so that'd be a fun one to open. So we're starting with Didact Echo, Hotfoot Gnome, Quicksand Whirlpool, Glorifier of Suffering, 
Scythe Claw Raptor, Charta Course, Kutzel Malamet Exemplar, our Full Art Foil Island, so we got to have another one of those, Akawali the Seething Tower in our alternate art, Foil Uncommon, Cavern of Souls, you can never have too many of those, so that one's a very good card for our Mythic Fabrication Foundry. Artifact Ripples of Potential for our Instant. Inti Seneschal of the Sun for our other alternate art. Ooh, Permission Denied. I like that one. Counter target non-creature spell. Your opponents can't cast non-creature spells this turn. So that's fun for our Jurassic Park card in foil, which is nice. Still not the Jurassic Park logo, but I do like it in foil. Sahili, the Sun's Brilliance for another mythic. Uh, alternate art, showcase art, foil, and then copy and merfolk for the token. Here, I'm going to stay on that same side, but pull out a vet for this one. And starting with Brazen Blade Master, Iron Paw Spirit, Disturbed Slumber, Promising Vein, Bat Colony, Captain Storm, Cosmium Raider, Stinging Cave Crawler, Fuller Island, that's the third one that we've gotten of those. And then we have Nickenzel, Current Conductor for our Showcase Foil, Full Art, Intrepid Paleontologist, Rare, Tarian's Journal, Legendary Artifact for our other Rare, The Grim Captain's Locker, Legendary Artifact, that one's going to be a good card, especially if you're running a pirate deck. Amalia Benavides Aguirre for our rare, our Jurassic Park card is Island. Again, double-sided. I still like the second side the best on those. Put that over there. Then we have our full art rare foil, Souls of the Lost Creature Spirit, Vampire, and Skeleton Pirate. Here I am pulling from the other side on this one. And we are starting with Idol of the Deep King, Cosmium Blast, Pirate Hat. Dino Tomatin, Sunbird Standard, Belligerent Yearling, Guardian of the Great Door. Here we go. We're getting into the forest full art. So that's a new one. Bartolome del Presidio for our showcase. Foil is an uncommon. Queen's Bay Paladin, rare. Preacher of the Schism for our full art. Pantalaza, Sun Favor, Dinosaur, Mythic, Restless Prairie for Rare Land, Jurassic Park card is Forest, Backside, we have it with the Raptors, again, still like the backside of all of these so far the best, Full Art, Foil, Kutzel's Flanker for our Rare one, and then Map and Gnome Soldier. And just going with another pack on here. We're starting with another chance. Cogwork Rustler, Shipwreck Sentry, Hidden Cataract, Soul Coil Viper, Glimpse the Core, Hoverstone Pilgrim. Ooh, planes. I haven't seen this one in person yet, so that's pretty. And then we have Earthshaker Dreadmaw for a full art foil, uncommon. Terror Tide for our rare. Hit the Motherload, full art rare. Tetson Gnome Champion. Restless Reef for our full art. Crusting Mazasaurus for our Jurassic World card. That one's pretty cool, so it's a different one. At least it's not another land or a token. I like that. 
Pugnacious Hammer Skull for our rare dinosaur full art foil. And then we have Gnome and Fungus. And I do really like the art on that Fungus token. That one's a fun one. And since that pack was already halfway out, we're just going to go with that one. And we're starting with Hunter's Blowgun, River Herald Scout, Ancestor's Aid, Ancestral Reminiscence, Malamet Battleglyph, Confounding Riddle, Twist and Turns, and then Mountain. And then we're into Zawa Lava Tongue, Goblin Warlock Uncommon, Hulking Raptor for our rare, Terror Tide, Full Art, Scion of Calamity, another dinosaur. And now we have one of the gods, our Pack Patik Deepest Epic in the showcase. So that's a good one, Mythic. And again, the island on the other side still prefer that one. Our Full Art Foil, Starving Revenant, Spirit of Horror. That one's really pretty. I don't know if you guys can see, but when the light shines off of it, I do really like the look of that one. So that's, I like that one a lot. Treasure and Angel on the other side for the token. Now I'm just starting with the front one for here. And Rumbling Rock Side. Frilled Cave Worm, Ray of Ruin, Skullcap Snail. I like the art on there. Those animal skulls, I do enjoy the art of those. Master's Guide Mural, Bitter Triumph, Spelunking, and then Forest for Full Art. Thrashing Bronodon for our Full Art Foil Uncommon, Braided Net Rare, Thousand Moon Smithy. Dinosaur Egg, that one's pretty. Restless Vents for our rare land. Our dinosaur card, we have Savage Order, Full Art. So again, it's nice that we are getting a little bit of variety in these. And, ooh, special guest. We have a Planeswalker, Lord Windgrace. So, and he is a mythic as well. So that's nice to pull that one. And then Gnome Dinosaur. And we're starting with Watley's Final Strike, Unlucky Drop, Attentive Sunscribe, Walk with the Ancestors, Helping Hand, Dig Site Conservador, Gold Fury Strider, and Mountain for our land, Rampaging Ceratops for the Uncommon, Souls of the Lost for our rare, Squirming Emergence, that one's pretty, I like the art, it's a pretty cute card, for our Sorcery Rare, and Stormfleet Negotiator, Siren Pirate, a Call Pakal. First Among Equals for our showcase art. And Planes for our dinosaur. That one's a sad side. I prefer the front side of that one for our Jurassic World card. And then we have Abuelo Ancestral Echo for our showcase. Rare and then Vampire and Vampire Demon for the tokens. And here we are starting with Rampaging Spike Tail, Pathfinding Extra, Disruptor Wanderglyph, Burning Sun Calvary, Spyglass Siren, Tendril of the Myco Tyrant, Sorceress Spyglass, Mountain Again, Captain Storm for the Uncommon, 
Starving Revenant for our rare Intrepid Paleontologist. Order of the Sacred Dusk. So I am glad that we are finally getting some more of the vampire cards. I was hoping to see more of those. And here it is, Cavern of Souls. Not the neon foil, but it's still a beautiful card. Canopy Swarm for our Jurassic World card. That one's pretty. Whale of the Forgotten in our foil rare. And Treasure Bet. All right, we're down to two packs. So we are starting with Petrify, Breakish Blunder, Acolyte of Alcatraz, Tinker's Tote, Sahili's Lattice, Malamet War Scribe, Pit of Offerings, Plains, again pretty, nice to have a change, It's Quint, Firstborn of Gishath for the Foil Uncommon, Whale of the Forgotten Rare, Warden of the Inner Sky Full Art, Contest of Claws, Sorcery, Roaming Throne, Gollum, and Plains for, or no, sorry, Swamp, apologies for that, for our Dinosaur card, and again, like the backside better of that one. Mythic, the Enigma Jewel, Legendary Artifact, so that's a good one, and it's double-sided, Locus of Enlightenment. I do know definitely something I could do with this particular card. I like the craft abilities with that one. And then we have Spirit Map. And then our last card. I'll say I did find that opening these packs of collector boosters, it's way easier to open from the bottom for whatever reason. But we are starting with Itali's Favor. Deathcap Marionette Fungus, Malamet Veteran, Daring Discovery, Hermetic Nautilus, Forgotten Monument, Bartolomeu del Presi Presido, Swamp, I haven't seen many of those, so that's nice, Skyclaw Rafter, Thousand Moon Smithy for a rare, The Everflowing Well, From the Rubble, Sahili, the Sun's Brilliant, so we are seeing that one again for Mythic, Command Tower for our Jurassic World card, double-sided, again, like that side better. And then the Everflowing Well, Rare, double-sided, the Myriad Pools for the Legendary Land on the other side as our Rare, and then Dinosaur Egg and Dinosaur for our tokens. All right, so that is everything we got in our Collector Boosters. One partner card, which I'm happy with. Not too many lands and no tokens for our Jurassic World cards. Permission denied my favorite of those. A fair bit of rares, so that's always good. Definitely not a ton of mythics, but we did definitely get some, and there were some good pulls in there, so that was really nice. Um, so if you guys have any thoughts, anything you wish you had seen that you didn't or anything about the cards that we did open, feel free to leave a comment. And as always, if you saw liked what you saw, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Thank you. Hope you guys enjoyed the video.